what's up good people welcome to playing with naughty dogs <laughs> and in this episode i will be talking about the very cool looking ug1 kit for the retaliator by ma liang 3d and yang nima and if you guys are wondering why i'm wearing the same thing as in the previous episode it's because i actually filmed it on the same day come on now guys come on i filmed it on the same day because you know it saves time but also because this is actually probably sponsored by enoch so thank you enoch for sending this over to me and in return i decided to help him do a quick installation of the entire thing including the internals and in my opinion it's a fair enough exchange he provided almost everything that you see here of course i'm going to return all of this over to him but the blaster actually came from me this pump grip not this vertical grip here but the pump grip was from me but this the whole body kit the internals of the blaster and this vertical grip here all from Enoch and he just like out of goodwill just hit me up and said he wanted to send this to me so I could do a review on it and I'm like dude thank you so much this is this is really cool and initially when I saw it in pictures I was like mm, another retaliator kit but once I saw it in person and then I installed it wow I gotta say this is a really really sweet looking kit I mean you cannot deny how sleek and how cool this is right so I have created an installation video guys so please check it out first before we continue talking about the kit Welcome back! Installation was really really simple although a little bit tricky. Now I'm gonna tell you guys first of all the most tricky thing would be if you are using the men gun shotgun pump but if you're using a worker bolt sled the pins of that pump will not be compatible with the worker bolt sled so that is something that you guys have to take note of okay. So what I did was kind of created a Frankenstein pin where I used the inner part of the worker pin from a worker pump grip and then I use the outer half of the pin from the men gun pump grip and I believe that you guys are smart enough to know what I'm talking about but I'm just gonna elaborate a little bit more just in case now basically whenever we deal with the retaliator there is a slot on each side of the bolt sled that requires you to have a pin going in so that you could hold the bolt sled to pull it back for priming that's basically the gist of it so the men gun pin and the slot on the worker bolt sled are not compatible. You're either gonna have to grind down the pin to make it narrower or grind the worker bolt sled slot to make it wider, either or. But because worker makes shotgun pump grips for the retaliator as well, they also have their own pins. What I did was I grabbed the worker pin and I grabbed the men gun pin, took the inside of the worker pin and attached it onto the outside of the men gun pin. And that's because the men gun pin would sit flush with this kit. That leads me to the next point where I believe that this whole kit is designed in collaboration, not just Yang Nima and Ma Liang 3D. I may be wrong on this, I may be wrong on this, but I believe that it is also in collaboration with men gun because look at how beautiful this whole thing is. It just works together. This stock attachment is by men gun as well. This pump grip is by men gun. And look at that, the design there, 
I mean, it's hard to say that it was not designed with the men gun accessories in mind. You know what I mean? So that's just something that I thought I would share with you guys, you know? So now let's talk about the kit and all the cool nuances that I really like. I love this design over here. It looks so aggressive, looks so cool. I like the design on the front. You could also attach an extended barrel if you want to, but I think that this actually looks kind of cool, like a snub nose kind of thing. I think it's really, really nice. I like these details over here and the slots over here as well. What I really like is the fact that they included this full charging handle thing. This is so cool. And the fact that they were able to keep this whole pump grip in such a low profile, so sleek and so close to the barrel itself. This is sick, man, look at that. See that, this is just so cool. So good job to all those who designed this. I know it's a whole mouthful to say all your names, so I'm just gonna say to you guys, good job. Nice positioning of the screws as well. And just overall, I really, really like the aesthetic look of this whole thing. It's really, really cool. Now these rails, they do work. They are actual proper size Picatinny rails. So you could attach your scopes or your iron sights or anything. Even these two over here, but these were actually provided with the men gun pump grip. So that's a different story altogether. But I chose not to attach anything because I really like this flat look, this really flat profile. I think it's it's just, it suits the whole retaliator so well. Now if I had a white retaliator, I think it would look even more badass. But you know, after I threw on the blue, I was like, hey, this is not bad as well. So for those of you who like to spray your glasses black, I think that if you had this portion black, but you maintain the white line, That would look so cool. And I love the fact that this was by a men gun as well. It's the white and black theme. This whole thing just looks so cool, so cool. So now I gotta talk about a gripe that I had. It's a very small gripe, but it's the way that this top part was installed. You have to kind of stretch it out in order to kind of slip it over the two pins. That to me is kind of like, I understand that you want to keep a single piece shell kind of thing, but it is going to be quite troublesome whenever you want to change your internals or if you want to maintain your blaster because taking this part out could be a little bit troublesome. Like for me, I feel like if I were to put a little bit too much pressure, if I pull it too far apart, I might just destroy the whole shell. I might just split the whole print. You know what I mean? So it is like, I don't know. I just, I just have that worry all the time. When I was doing the installation, when I was trying it out for the first time, the first few times, you know, I had to try it out a few times in order for me to get that whole filming thing down. At the same time, I tried it on once and then I changed the internals and you know, I fumbled quite a bit with um, the pins as well because I was trying to find the right height of the pins for this to work. And so I put it on and took it off quite a few times and each time I felt the same worry. I never had like, I never had my confidence building up with each time I did that process or that particular step. So that's the main gripe I had about this kit. Apart from that, I don't have any more gripes about this. I don't have any more gripes. This is just really, really cool. And now to address the question that Enoch asked me about, will this kit work on a Prophecy Blaster? And the answer is, Yes, but it wouldn't look as nice. I, I don't I don't know why you would want to put this on a Prophecy Blaster because in my opinion, if you get a Prophecy kit, you would want to get that whole Six Sawyer outer kit as well, right? The outer shell as well. But yes, this fits on a Prophecy Blaster. It does, but this area over here would not look as nice because you know, the Prophecy actually has something else like a triangular piece that attaches here, right? So that part is kind of flat. So it would look a bit empty in this area. Yeah, so uh, just for fun, I'm going to give you guys a quick firing demonstration even though this is not about what's inside this kit, okay? But I want to say that you guys have seen my cool window cutout slots, right? Yes, this is my very first window cutout slot expanded plunger tube retaliator mod using the worker expanded plunger tube for the retaliator. Well, that was a really long thing to say. Enoch, be happy. You are the first person to ever get this particular mod from me. I don't know if anyone else does it out there, but I think it's a really, really cool mod to kind of be able to see your plunger and you know, your plunger rod actually moving inside the plunger if you don't have the kit on. I don't know, I just thought it was cool to do that. So here we go, I got a Stefan clip because now we're using an artifact kit in this and it accepts only Stefan darts. You guys know I don't really like that, but anyway, this blaster belongs to Enoch. So I've got a Stefan mag, I've got four darts in here and I'm just gonna be firing them off in the corner. Once again, this is not about the internals of the blaster, it is about the aesthetics of this kit. Look how cool it is in action. See that? There we go. All four darts out. 
no problem. And if you guys are wondering why I was kind of like cautious when firing, it's because I don't even remember where I got these Stefans from. I don't know if they will work well with the barrel over here. So I was kind of careful, being a little bit more careful basically, when trying to chamber these darts into the barrel. You know, if you get the right dart to barrel fit, because this is an artifact barrel, then you wouldn't have to worry about anything. But that was just me. I just randomly took out some darts that I could find and just use them. Because you guys know I don't really use Stefans a lot. This is the UG1 kit once again, everyone, by Yang Nima and Maliang 3D. And I believe in conjunction with Mengun. I might be wrong, and I'm sorry if I'm wrong, but here you go. One of the coolest looking retaliator kits out there that I've seen so far. In fact, in my opinion, this is cooler than the previous one that I did about the retaliator, which was the AWP sniper body kit. And I think that this just looks so cool. It looks so sleek and looks like such a cool submachine gun kind of thing, or maybe even an automatic rifle. It's just really, really sleek looking, semi-military, semi space age or sci-fi i just really dig it i love this color combination and i hope that you do too once again a big shout out to enoch for providing this to me so i could share it with all of you guys and that's the end of the video everyone thank you so much for sticking all the way throughout and i hope that you enjoyed it i will catch y'all in the next episode drills pay the bills and teamwork makes the dream work peace <laughs>